All right, what's up, family? Hey, today we got a good educational one for you guys out there, particularly for any and every woman out there, because we're going to be touching on the woman's body, educating about other things on a woman's body. But even for a lot of you men out there, you want to learn something new. I always say that, learn something every day, never stop learning. So this one, we're going to be dealing with uh, the period, the woman's menstrual cycle. So, but... We're going to go a little bit more in detail. We're going to be dealing with this one. We're going to title this one Menstrual Synchrony. Now, we know what that means. Menstrual cycle, your period. Synchrony, like, you know, you say you synchronize the watch. Yeah. You know, everything on the same time. Set it up on the time. Like a person robbing the bank. We go, yo, we got to synchronize our watches. So they all go off at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's going to be the title of the video. Menstrual Synchrony. Now, another medical term for that would be the McClinton, the McClinton effect. The McClintock. McClintock effect. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. And why is it called the McClintock effect? Uh, because it actually came from a woman whose name was Martha McClintock. Yes, it was. Cool. Uh, she went to a school with all females. Mm -hmm. So she went to do a research on the menstrual cycle. Yeah. That's cool. So the school that she went to, this was where he, I think back like in 1971 or something like that. She went to an all-female school, and obviously she was around all females, and she had noticed this, so she did a study on it, and she put a paper out on it, and it, it was a very powerful paper, but it made a lot of women realize when you are living within close proximity of each other, how it affects your menstrual cycle. Like, in other words, you may have an average woman who, like my wife here, you had your cycle every whatever time of month, and you knew it would always come on that time of month. But once you had daughters, plural, once you had daughters and they became older, once it, all of a sudden, your cycle was always off. Yeah, that was actually crazy, Bobby, until you pointed it out. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't realize that that had actually occurred. When I had my period, it was just a moment of me getting it the same exact timing. Mm -hmm. But once I had the girls and they reached a certain age where they had their menstrual, Oh my God. And now my menstrual cycle, my time period changed. Always up. Completely changed. Because now your daughter may got it at a certain time. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what a coincidence. The next day or later that day, you got yours. Exactly. That's and, what I, and then your sister got hers. Yeah. So and that's why I thought it was always so, so funny. Not that I'm a woman, but correct me at any time with this. Because you played sports a lot in school. Mm -hmm. uh, you was a star of your team and all that. You know, she's a has-been. You know, she used to be good. <laughs> I'll dust off nice. now. But, but nah, but yeah, she's still good. But just to touch on this, correct me if I'm wrong. You take the average female out there, let's say, in college, right? Mm -hmm. Living in a dorm, like the lady Martha McClintock, right? Let's take the average female that live in a dorm room with two or three other girls in her room. You know, this girl right here... Might get on her period today. Meanwhile, the other three girls over here that lives in the same proximity. Mm -hmm. Remember, the name of the title of the video is Menstrual Synchrony. Synchrony. Because what being in the same proximity, it affects the other ones. Mm -hmm. So let's say this girl right here, she get on her menstrual cycle today. And the other girls, they're already like, oh, girl, you know, I got an extra pad or whatever. They want to mm -hmm. help her, right? See, you, you are being concerned. You're communicating. You're in the same proximity. It's affecting others. If you're loving, you want to help this other one, right? Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, while she's on her period, these other girls, they're talking about, we're going to the party. Well, mm -hmm. We got a game tonight. We got a big game or we're going to the party tonight. And before you know it, it'd be an hour later, one of those other girls go to the bathroom and you hear hey, them in the bathroom saying, yeah. damn it, I'm on my period too. Right? You heard that before, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what it means by menstrual synchrony because you're going to affect the others around you that menstrual cycle be because of pheromones. I'm sorry. Oh, we just said it this yeah. Time. <laughs> Thank you. Because of pheromones. Now, a lot of times, as always, I love to give y'all word of the day, and that's going to be the word of the day. Pheromones. Now, a lot of times we hear that word pheromones is mostly referring to animals, but not necessarily us as well. Because if you look up the word pheromones, it simply means a substance that is secreted, meaning coming outside, from one individual, and it is picked up by on the outside by another individual of the same species so now of course you go uh we're not secreting we sweat don't we yeah so let's take you for example when you play basketball you picked up on the girl here who may had a funky smell may had a good smell or the girl who sweat a lot 
And ain't nothing worse than playing basketball, for example. You going up to defend somebody and some sweaty girl comes down like this. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, damn, all that, all that sweat on me. But it's her pheromones. Mm -hmm. Man, it, it'll be the end of the game. You'll still kind of have that, yeah. that smell. Like, you know that smell you can't stop smelling, but it's nasty. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, another thing you were saying about something about the oh, bathroom. The restrooms, or like, as a female, it's the worst. Like, oh, you could say that I've again. been through this, and yeah. it's just disturbing that I would go into the bathroom, and some, a woman's already in there. Mm -hmm. When I walk in, I can immediately smell that they're on their period, and See. that's a very disturbing See, that smell. that pheromone that they give off. And it's off. very strong. And what I do, I already make sure that my hygiene is good with or without me being on my period, but especially when I know I'm on my period, I put more more yeah, heavy focus be. on my, my cycle as in drinking more water. So one. all the women out there, I feel like you should just be drinking water in general. Like, mm -hmm. well, that's but what they, when you're yeah. on your period, that heavy smell of blood, not yeah, sound you go out of way to the, Yeah, you go out of your way to you make have more sure. proper hygiene. Yeah, so when a woman is using the bathroom, there's nothing worse when you're not already not drinking water, plus you have heavy blood you know everybody's first two three days sometimes the very first day it's very heavy on you so walking into a bathroom a locker room and you know that girl is on a period that smell gives off and it's, it's just very disturbing so now, when you say the bathroom thing i gotta say this for a lot of men out there and women mm -hmm. because a lot of men will always tell you we would say man men bathrooms are disgusting well that's man. what i was getting ready to say exactly and, and i remember you got this conversation so many times before i said Yo, trust me, men are disgusting. Female they bathroom, will leave, I think they're worse. They will blow their nose in the bathroom, they will piss on the floor, not pick it up. And I remember plenty of times, you and many other women, I have always heard y'all always say, no, trust me, you may say men bathrooms are disgusting, but women are worse. Yeah, they leave, Meaning, their, pat, they leave their pats with bloody um, all on the floor, the nasty. urine. Mm -hmm. It is ridiculous how they just so irresponsible mm -hmm. in that part so that's why i always say it. so when you broke that down it made me say you're right because now like you said they may leave hair or nonsense in the mm -hmm. sink the same thing men do mm -hmm. okay they may have urinated on the floor or something not flush the toilet after taking a dump men do the same thing mm -hmm. but then when you add the maxi pad the period blood on it now men we don't do that so now that's where y'all top us because you're <laughs> right I've heard so many women say that, like a lady left a maxi pad, clogged up the toilet, left it on the floor, left it on the top of the garbage, left it on a bloody one in the sink. Like that is so spitefully disgusting. Uh, yeah, well, let me put it. Sad. Let me put it really out there. It's not all women that are really nasty. Mm -hmm. It's us. most women out yeah. there that are nasty. Yeah. That, that their hygiene not, not are all, just, just a few. Yeah, that yeah. their 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 hygiene are very but irresponsible. That's why I like what you said earlier. When you are on your menstrual cycle, it makes you think more consciously. I'm already a clean person, but when I'm on my cycle, I go above and beyond yeah. to be more clean because I know I'm and giving off a pheromone. And just being considerate for yourself and especially for others. You don't you want to be that person being talked about because you know people love to talk. Mm -hmm. You you leave the bathroom and you see the person see ya yeah, like so it was just her in the bathroom. <laughs> you don't want to say like yo I left the bathroom she just stink because she was mm -hmm. on her period. So you know to. Mm -hmm. Be better in ourselves as women, because you know, as women, our hygiene, especially being our period, is, that takes a toll on anybody. Your scent. And me, me as a guy, the reason I speak on this, as I've said in other of our videos, such as um, fathers to daughters. You know, I got two daughters. I got a lovely wife, so it makes me pay attention to women's needs and women's care mm -hmm. stuff that y'all need. Mm -hmm. That's why I like doing videos like this or the videos, like I said, go to our channel, Springs for Integrity, type up fathers to daughters. But another great video that kind of touches on this is the other video where you people out there will learn a lot about a, the greatness of a woman's body. Is the one called um, Biological Clock. It's, no, it's called Women Are Truly Amazing, Biological Clock Ticking. Now, with that one, we touched on some more great things about just how fascinating a woman's body is. Mm -hmm. like we touched on the thing D door, D-O-R, mm -hmm. and we explained what door is. Diminishing ovarian reserve, and we broke it all down. Yeah, <laughs> but I gave a great story in that and everything, and, and it was very enlightening to a lot of you if you want to learn more. But I would have to also go back with being in the house with three women because it made me pay attention to you guys' needs, and I had to be more loving and caring to stuff that y'all are sympathetic mm -hmm. to. Uh, so it, I had noticed it too at times, like I said, like 
uh, that basketball thing that I mentioned, how the girl thinks she's going to go out and party and her friends on, but because of menstrual synchrony, all of a sudden it affected her. Yeah. And now she's like, oh my gosh, it was my yeah. period too. All because such sour got on period now and affected me. It's that effect because you are in that proximity. You are communicating with this person. You are caring with this person. You know, so you are interacting with this person. So therefore, their menstrual synchrony is going to, in a high probability, is going to affect you. Now, of course, this lady, Martha McClintock, which they call it the, the medical term, McClintock effect. Of course, this lady, Martha McClintock, uh, they, they, they said that wasn't all true. What she said, they, they came out with another paper to try to uh, debunk everything that she said. It's but, not kind of true to the day. I'm sure every woman out there would say, no, I, 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 I understand. understand I understand. I got sisters and my female cousin, and we went through that. So they know what they're saying. But there's always going to be somebody out there trying to debunk Everything that you say, even if you come with straight, solid facts. Mm -hmm. But what else? I was gonna, also gonna say um, because, like you said, that it synchronizes. I know a lot of us also as women, we have apps that have like um, trackers mm -hmm. to tell us, like, oh, next week your period's coming. Because I've I've used those apps before. Mm -hmm. But sometimes without that app, I really didn't need the app because once again, I live with my sister and my mom, mm -hmm. so they were kind of like my trackers as well. So like, I didn't get my oh, period yeah. first. Good one. And my sister got it. You I'm like, coming. damn, I'm about to probably get yeah. mine in the next day or but, next week. But you know, it's funny. Like, that my mom got it. I'm like, damn. You know, like, if I had a party to go to, I'm like, damn, I got to get my period. <laughs> so it's, but you know, it's funny that you say that because every time I'm about to get it or whatever, I ask you. Ask yeah, you, you just so got it? Like, like, like y'all basically my yeah, ass. I was so mad when I got like a... A basketball game or somewhere mm -hmm. I just gotta go to. I'm like, let me bring some pads because I know I'm gonna go <laughs> mm -hmm. be on my period soon. Now watch when you finally be on your own. That's gonna change. It's gonna very change because like, now you don't got no one around you that's synchronizing, mm -hmm. inadvertently synchronizing your man. I have to get that app now. Yeah, now you now you gotta get the app back. <laughs> the You're app. like, oh damn, I forgot. <laughs> Did you know my baby? I like that though. You mm -hmm. said you didn't have to use the app because mm -hmm. your sister, your mother, yeah. you knew that's a good one. But you know, Bobby, I really do gotta throw this out. I, I really admire something that you did. It's beautiful. What's that? I mean, I never got the opportunity for that to happen to me, but you did it with the girls. I know. Remember the first time when the girls got their first menstrual? Thank you, Beth. I mean, that was beautiful. Thank that was you, really I, touching. Thank you. And I, I want to the girls. That. I'm telling you, I'm right now, I'm getting goosebumps. It's so forgot. emotional. So we're going we're gonna gonna so to end the video Bye. with in closing. Yeah. You'll give, you, you give your in closing. I'll give you my in closing. My in closing will be more caring and loving to the loved ones around you, especially the women, your daughters, your mm -hmm. nieces, your grandmother, your mother, and all that. But what my what my wife is referring to when she said it was very loving what I did, to a lot of you men out there, mm -hmm. my in closing statements, what I would say to a lot of you loving men that love your families, your daughters, and your lives, when your daughter is about to get their period, this is going to be a great one I'm giving you. When they're about to get their period, you need to have that great conversation as they're growing up. Oh, and the closer they get to their period, what well, you should keep reminding them, what I did, keep reminding them the day that they get their period for the very first time, this young, young girl, remind them as their father, do not count me out. Count me in when mm -hmm. you get your period. I want to know about it. I want to know what I could do to help. Rather, it's going to get what you need. Rather, it's to talk to you, comfort you, whatever it is. But what I also did when my daughter got her period I bought her uh, a dozen roses. Mm -hmm. And I, I would advise every man out there. I bought her a dozen roses and I gave it to her that day. I still remember exactly what you said. You had a basketball game that day. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> and, 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 and all of a sudden, you was ready to play. And then all of a sudden, it kicked in. And then you was all embarrassed. And you was like, oh, no, I think I'm going to play. Yeah. And it was a big game. Because those cramps were killing me. First day. I do not remember. No, listen. It I just looked it up. Every this is guys really swear like we'd be overreacting about being our period. <laughs> Y'all think we'd be dramatic, but I just looked it up. The doctor said when you're on your period, those cramps are almost as equivalent to a heart attack. <laughs> I'm letting you know. Listen, your first day, I'm telling you, when I was at work this one day, mm -hmm. I was about to call off. I was crying in my truck. I said, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all guys have to be understanding that. Cramps, those are deadly cramps. It yeah, feels like someone's so, stabbing me in my stomach. But so isn't that beautiful? But what mommy said, I like that you brought it up. Thanks. 
Because, yeah, that's what I did. And I did the same thing for your sister when mm -hmm. she got on her period. But the whole time y'all growing up, I kept reminding y'all, look. Because most men do that. When the, when their young girl get on their period, they go, look, go talk to your mother about that stuff. I ain't got time. You go, you go talk, talk, talk to your mom. Talk to your older sister. Yeah. Nah, hey, we a family. Mm -hmm. You talk to me just as well. I, what, what you need me to go get for you? I go to the store. I ain't going to be embarrassed. Even the, the comedy, the movie, uh, uh, Mr. Mom. I remember he had to go get Maxi Pad with his wife. <laughs> and when he had to get it, the lady said, he, she said, ain't no barcode on here. And then he was like, oh, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just it's two dollars. <laughs> and then she got on the microphone. She's like, I need a price check for Maxi Pads. <laughs> and he was embarrassed. Like, but, but yeah, so any and every man out there, mm -hmm. always be close with your, of course, your sons and your daughters. It's a bond. It's a bond. Yeah, when your daughter's about to have that period, get her them roses and present them to her and, and have that conversation with her. You got something in closing? That's pretty much it. All right. And subscribe, share, like, and comment. And remember, the title of the video is Menstrual Synchrony. And it was started by Martha McClintock mm -hmm. Effect. That's what's called Martha McClintock Effect. And on that note, subscribe, share, like, and comment. Peace.